Hi everybody, thanks for clicking on this video and welcome to my savings budgeting and YouTube journey. I'm shaking the table already. So today I'm going to get right into it. I'm here to represent the hardworking low income single parents. I experiment with different budgeting styles, savings goals, and I share the strategies I learn as I go. So if that sounds interesting, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to follow my journey. Okay, today it's early in the morning. I was able to go into my employer's website. I know how much exactly my first paycheck of June will be. So we're going to go ahead and do the plan for that. We did already do our June monthly budget. So let me show you that if you haven't seen that video. This was the outline that we used of when all the bills are going to are due but there have been some changes already <laughs> as soon as i recorded it after i watched it i'm like mm, i think i can change a few things so first of all i found out this morning when i went to do you know my final budget that this audit payment is due on the 15th i don't know why i thought it was due on the 25th i think the original payment was due on the 25th of may but since i did the payment arrangement it's due on the 15th of june so yeah, so I had to update that. That's going to be in our first paycheck. So the first paycheck that we're going to do today is going to be paid on the 5th and it's going to run us all the way to the 18th and the next payday will be the next day on the 19th. So let's go ahead and get that started. First, I'm going to tell you how much the paycheck actually will be since I know that now. I did put a note here that I was possibly going to use the parking debt envelope sinking fund that I have. There's $75 in it right now. I'm saving up to about $350 so that I can pay that off. But because I'm saving up to get to about $350 so I can pay that off. But like I've explained before, it does not have a due date. It doesn't have a minimum balance due. I think I'm going to keep what's in there in there and probably try to pay off the tax audit balance in july since there will be three paychecks in july i'm excited about that i should have a little bit of money to not play with really but to move around further than it's going right now all right so let's do our this is going to be our pre payday prep and this is for i'm going to do close up because all right let's see I'm really trying to get this clearer for you guys, so we'll see how it works this time. But it's pre payday prep, pre whoa, pre payday prep. That's a tongue twister, I guess. So this is gonna go, like I said, the first payday is gonna be from June 5th, and it's gonna take us to June 18th. Okay, so the paycheck will be technically. 15.0145, but we're just gonna round that down to $15 and leave whatever is in there as I don't know, add that to the buffer that's in that I keep in the bank account. So we're gonna start with $1,500, which is a lot better than the $1,400 that I expected it to be. But I'm always happy to, you know, round down when I'm estimating how much income I'm getting and then I round up for expenses. If that makes sense. So I'm if I have a set amount that I'm expecting to get, I always round down for income. So that if I get more, great, but I won't get less. And then for expenses, I always round up. Let's say if I'm expecting a bill to be about $62, I round it up to $65. Either I'll pay that extra or I'll just have that extra as a buffer. But usually I pay a little bit extra. I just round up. Okay, so... First thing that comes out, as always, is our automatic savings. Let me go down. I did this a little bit too high. Usually start about here. 
we're gonna map out our budget this is how i always do my pre payday preps and then the night before payday which will be on the fourth right here i go into my bank accounts to see if there's any money left from the pay period that we're currently in that i can roll over to the next day maybe there's something that i can save mm. Lately, there has been money left over for rollover that I've been able to save, but this week, mm, I highly doubt it because I think I only have like, I have money in health and I have money in pet, which I've got to use some of the pet. So I don't know. It's not looking like there's going to be any money left, but we'll see. Uh, okay. $1,500 is what we're starting with. First thing that comes out always is our automatic savings that comes off the top. I believe in paying yourself first. That's going to go to three different savings accounts. And here is where we get all the detail. So 150 in auto save. I'm gonna try to write a little bit neater for you guys today. Let's let's see how it works. So 75 goes to the emergency fund. Fifty dollars goes into my daughter's savings. And this ain't working out already. Twenty-five dollars goes to the car note. Okay, those are automatic savings that come off off the top automatically. Right now, these two are going into my SoFi. Um, they have buckets, SoFi buckets for these two, the top two, and then the car note goes into the SoFi checking account, so that, that can get just that just you know automatically happens on its own. Where there's already money, a lump sum that I put in there from my income tax. So watch that video if you haven't, so you can figure out, understand better why only $25 goes to that account every pay period. All right, so this 1500 now brings us down to 1350. Okay, 1350. Uh, so the next thing that needs to come out is our Fixed expenses. So these always go in order of priority. So the next thing that comes out is our fixed expenses. But I'm going to have to do this a little bit backwards. So for fixed, since I'm moving some things around, I already know the mortgage half of that is $445. I always pay half. $20 allowance. That's always the same. We have eight dollars for Amazon, eight for Netflix, three for Hulu. What else? Sixty for phone. Oh, and utilities. I looked back at my utility um uh, payments and it looks like i forgot to pay that 62 two dollar payment that we had scheduled for um this pay period i had never paid it so it was still sitting in my bank account so thankfully i have 62 dollars that went towards the 122 utility bill so we're only gonna have to pay 60 more dollars for utilities which yay thank you for um, thank God that I pay a little bit extra every time because June was going to be tight, but that definitely leaves that extra $62 that I was going to pay um, in this first paycheck. I don't have to pay because it's already paid now. So the balance of that $122 is only $60 left. So now I have um, some extra money for the June paycheck too, along with the extra uh, because the income was more than we expected. So yay. See, things work out. That's why I try not to stress things, you know, too much because somehow they work out. And then now that we know that this audit is due on the 15th, that has to be paid within this time frame. So we're going to pay $25 for that audit. We're going to pay $32 for student loans. And this is, I'm getting this from here where all the bills are due. So this utility bill is um, actually only going to be a $60 balance. So and there's phone bill, Hulu. That's, this is where all of that is coming from. Student loans and then uh, I think that's it. But no, I was also going to pay some money to Discover. Let's see how much we can pay to Discover after this. 
So let's see how much this totals. Six sixty one. Let's see. Let's do 25 for the Discover. There is no minimum on Discover right now because I have already put a lump sum back in there. Uh, we used a credit card, the Discover credit card on our road trip. And so I replaced it with the cash that we had took out. So there's nothing due right now according to Discover. But of course, I want to pay that down as much as possible because there's still going to be about a $400 balance on there once that payment goes through all right so that brings us to what was it 686 six nine oh, wait that wasn't right yeah that's 686 What a straight line. Let me find out. 686. All right. What does that bring us to? 664. All right. After that, let's reference our cheat sheet. What's next? My cheat sheet. Next thing is our variable expenses. Semi so annual. This bill for July is going to come out next pay period so variable expenses we said we were going to put let me look at our dream budget we said we were going to put 195 in variables but i think i'm gonna put a little bit more now that we have a little extra i think i'm gonna put more in home we're gonna round home up to 60 dollars so let's see yeah it's gonna be 210 yeah, because that's 15 extra dollars. So variables, right? And I'll show you what those include. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna run out of room if I don't slow down a little bit. All right, 210 variable. So I'm gonna zero this down. So we said $100 is gonna go to grocery. And this is only for the two weeks. $50 is going to go to gas, which I don't think we're going to need gas because I took some from our gas and grocery sinking fund. And um, I hope this was not out of frame the whole time. And um, it should be full. So we'll see. And then we're going to do 60 for home, which is basically for toiletries, cleaning products, stuff we need around the house. So let's make sure this zeroes out. It does. Okay, now, now we have 454. So cash envelopes, I'm not gonna mess with too much because uh, we didn't in our monthly budget. But what I think I am gonna do, I did say that I had this festival to go to on the seventh. Uh, so I'm gonna put some money in the cash envelope for that. So I'm gonna put sixty dollars in there for that festival it's really just like a food celebration kind of festival where you can try all kinds of foods that you normally wouldn't try let me lift this up a little bit hopefully that doesn't bother things too much but it was a little too low so yeah we're gonna go to that we try to go to it every year ce just stands for cash envelopes girl what ce yeah, I don't know how much this writing neat is working out for me. <laughs> I feel like after a certain age, you just, you get what you get. Your writing, your handwriting is your handwriting. And I should have listened to my mom when I was younger to write neater back then. But now it's a habit. So for that, that's going to be $55 for personal, $40 for entertainment. 
Maybe I should make that, put that $60 right there in entertainment. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll make entertainment $100 for that festival. And I do these little notes for you guys and for me because I forget. Dining out is going to get us $60. Everything stays the same. Everything is going to get what it usually gets besides that entertainment for the festival. I clearly need some water because my voice is not working out well today. All right, let's see. Yep, that zero's out. Perfect. Okay, 454. All right, that brings us to 194. And I am sorry if anything was out of frame today. It probably was. <laughs> I'm going to get it together one day, I promise. I didn't even put here that this is paycheck June A. A just means the first one. It didn't always align that way, but I kind of just make it fit that way. Here's what I mean by A and B. So this is what I pay with A paycheck. And I call it that just because they don't always fall within the same time frame. Like, see here, I'll show you that. Just for those of you that I knew, I call it A and B because the bills that I pay with the first paycheck of the month don't always fall within the first paycheck's time frame. Of course, because we know how months change and how many days are in the month always affect it. So, um, like, for instance, the Discover bill is not due until the next pay period, but I'm going to pay it with A, and neither is the student loan. It's due on the 19th, which I could technically pay with the next paycheck. But because I like to kind of even out the bills, let me show you here try to make them even throughout the month so with the first paycheck and the second paycheck I try to sort out the bills to make them kind of even so that I have more of a routine as far as you know the bills go I try don't know it worked out that way but I try okay so we're left with 194 the next thing that's supposed to come out is our priority savings challenges and sinking funds so what are sinking funds for those of you that are new sinking funds are envelopes that us cash stuffers use this is inspired by the dave ramsey budgeting method so you put different amounts of money into different categories that you're going to use either in your wallet and these i use or we use at home they're cash envelopes that we save for small things that we know that are going to come up throughout the year like i might need to go shopping throughout the year i might need miscellaneous things i might want to use things for beauty so i save little bits so that by the time i want to use it i have money in there so for beauty i think i'm supposed to actually i'm supposed to go get my toes done today there's only 41 dollars in there so that should be enough. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. That should be enough. Because, Lord, I could hurt somebody with these toes right now. Is that too much information? Probably. All right. So, back to this. So, there's $50 that we put into these savings challenges here that have amounts next to them. And Child's Beauty gets $25. She did get her hair done yesterday. Um, Just like a trim. So, um, we just replace that every pay period, put some money in there so that by the time her hair appointment is due, she has enough to have it done. Me, I just do my own hair. <laughs> I don't really care about myself so much as far as that goes. All right, so 194 and then we're going to take this $75 off for the priorities or let's say are always fund i'm gonna call i'm going back to calling it always fund because i always contribute to it that's what i'm gonna call it and i don't care where the bill goes that's what i'm calling it leaves us with 120 so for the always fund that's gonna go to i just like it i coined the phrase i'm gonna keep calling it that 120 for the always fund home maintenance is gonna get Actually, I think I'm putting more in these challenges. Let me see. Yeah, home maintenance usually gets $10, but I'm going to add 
35 because like I said we have a little bit more to play with so home is gonna get let's take this out because first of all that was wrong anyway so let's do like we did with the fixed expenses we're gonna do it backwards so home is gonna get $45 home maintenance and that's for repairs that I need to make throughout the house uh let's see what else my daughter's clothes would usually get 15 but I'm going to put extra in there. I'm going to put 30 extra. So we're going to give 45 to that because I'm trying to reach these goals as closely as I can. I don't know if I'm going to meet all of my savings challenge goals that I set up. If you don't know what those are, take a look at that video. But I'm going to try to get as close as I possibly can. Home goals isn't going to get any extra because I think those few are just going to be met with the always fund. I don't think I need to put any extra in those. $10 for Christmas. Christmas isn't getting any extra either. Oh, and then always fund also includes my daughter's hair. $25 for her hair. Color proof for those of you that are new. Ooh, that rhymes. All right, 45, 45, 15. 10, 25, 140. Thank God for these erasable pens. 140. If you don't know what these are, these are the Parku erasable pens. They are in my Amazon shop. Make sure you look at that in the description bar because you'll be able to see everything that I use. Pretty much everything that I use is from Amazon or Timu. Temu. Whatever. Amu. All right, that leaves us with fifty-four dollars. So one forty in the always fund. Usually that's only seventy-five dollars, but we're putting more in the savings challenge. Thank God for a little bit of extra money. Let's see. And then we have fifty-four dollars. This fifty-four dollars is gonna go to sinking funds and savings challenges. Okay. So this fifty-four dollars. Let's see where we're gonna put it. How much did we expect to have for sinking funds and savings challenges? Let me see. Okay, check A, we expected to have 47. So, you know, we still got to put some more things in our always fund. So that's good. It's $54. We're going to put that into... I already know I want to put some money into family fund. That is a priority, especially for summer coming up. So I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna put ten dollars in the vacation savings challenge. So this is the sinking fund. This is the savings challenge. That brings us down to fifty dollars, and I'm gonna just put four dollars in our one dollar challenge. So that's one that I'm not tracking. I'm just putting money in it whenever I can. Whenever I have loose like dollar bills. All right, that zeroed out. Hey, that was quick and easy. Thank God for some extra money. Let's choose a money mantra for the day. Money mantra, let's use the first one. I deserve abundance in all kinds. I deserve abundance in all kinds. That's going to be my money mantra for the next two weeks. Okay, so my pre-budget notes are just that we have, we're going to have $60 for the festival, right? And then there's going to be, there's more in um, home for toiletries because I need to get some new blinds. I don't, that's probably not going to be enough, but I want to get them little by little. That says blinds. <laughs> Barely. All right. That's it. And I did not separate debt. Usually I separate like debt in here, but I did not. I should have. Because I like to track that at the end of the month. So what is this? 57? $57 in debt. So I get into a routine and somehow I forget the routine. Anyway, $57 is going to be paid in debt. All right. So I think we look pretty good. <gasps>
Like I said, uh, oh, audit. No, audit. $82. Let's add an audit to it. We're paying $82 in debt. All right, so I do want to fill out one of our, where is it? This is just a copy that I made for from my budget book. Since it's only monthly, um, I am going to, um, I use it bi-weekly too, because I budget both ways. I just do, it just works for me. So the income for paycheck A, we already know, is $1,500, right? And that sinking funds, we don't plan on using any sinking funds. So I'm just gonna write zero. So if we do use any, then it'll go there. We don't get a YouTube paycheck, so I'm not expecting any other income within this time frame. So the total is just 1500 for the plan. And then home, what's in home? Um, we got the we got the half of the mortgage. I'm just gonna go through this real quick and speed it up for you. Alright, so now that we got them all in there, let's see if it zeroes out. Oh, we can go. Yep, it zeroes out. Total budgeted expenses is $1,500. So I like the one that I created more, the one that I created electronically. Let me show you. Okay, so. Here it is. This is for the whole month of June that I set up. And the reason that I like this different, the setup is all the same, except for have some more um, categories up here Roll for rollover. So rollover, again, is if I have any money left in this pay period that I'm going to roll into, you know, the next day when I get paid. And then I have right here when I do the budget review, keep track of a little bit more things here. And then, of course, I made my review here. No spends, how many I want to tr keep track of, post budget notes, so things that I discovered during that week. Personal goals for this next two weeks is treadmill four times a week, drinking three of my pink water bottles a day, not pink water, <laughs> and taking my multivitamin daily, which I am struggling with recently. But it does make a difference throughout my day as far as energy goes, so I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start doing that again. Restarting Netflix. So just some notes that I put down there. Passports are no longer a priority in my savings challenges because we're not going on that trip until next year. So those are my notes. This is my budget. And then I just have to set up my um, expense tracker. This is the one from, I showed you already, the one from May that I need to update. If there's any money left in this paycheck that I can save, or send to saving challenges i will do that all right but that's it for me today i hope this was a little bit easier to follow but thank you so much for watching i want you to always remember it is about progression and not about perfection thanks for watching and happy saving everybody bye <laughs>